Now, you wrote a piece at National Review yesterday, Hey Mizzou, where's the poop? Because much like Hands Up, Don't Shoot, which wasn't too geographically far away, that was a myth. And until today, when we find out that a campus police officer claims he actually saw the swastika made of poop, uh, we, 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 we questioned and you questioned whether or not it existed. But to me, the fact that now we know not one, that one cop saw this doesn't change anything. Why should a swastika in a bathroom made of poop all of a sudden be an attack on blacks? Well, look, Steve, if, there's a, if there was a swastika, I could understand even if I wouldn't necessarily leap to that conclusion because it is imagery that's used by, uh, you know, white uh, uh, extremists, those uh, you know, skinheads and guys like that. So, I, I, but my my thing is, I've looked at the police report. It's more redacted than not redacted, which is peculiar to me for something that you know we're not talking exactly about a terrorism offense here. Uh, it seems to be a report that uh, was completed days afterwards, and and I still go back to the same point. Uh, you know, I, I used to do this for a living. If the police go out to what they identify as a crime scene, which is what that police report says, this is an act of vandalism, they collect evidence, they take photographs. Where is it? If he saw it, then I'd like to see what the investigation showed. And, and you know, you're quite right. I think they're, they're, you know, they're leaping to conclusions that this was necessarily directed at any one, even if you accept the fact that... Uh, uh, that white racists sometimes use uh, the, the swastika imagery. But we're like a million miles away from proving anything like that. 